This is a right challenge. Definitely something I didn't think would happen. Oh god. So the grinder's taken through one of these. Which makes me sad. However, the large ones, yeah, those all take it through the same. So there's no small connections on it whatsoever. That that is depressing. So I can attach them to there, but they won't transfer the materials. And the only way to really do that is by doing some fandangled thing with one of these. <sighs> Which makes it 50 million times as wide. <sighs> mm. Why you do this to me space engineers? Tell you what, let's get rid of these again. And of course that would happen. Shit. Dump stuff. Dump stuff, dump stuff. Grab it, grab it, grab it. Where's... Motors, motors, motors. Oh! Yeah! 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 Is that it? Oh, thank god. So I am really annoyed right now, because I've got to I've got to add the length onto the back end now. I, I can't get around it. Cannot get around it. So I've got to dump the coke the container on the back end of this. And then from that, I've got to put... These bad boys? I can't do that either. That's the only way I can do it. Everything's got to come down. If you don't know what I'm doing now is I'm taking off the sides, placing another one of these conveyors, and then I'm just going to transfer like so. It's probably really messy, but this is the only way right now in this 50 degree room that I can think of to uh, actually get these to work appropriately for the purposes I require. And my energy is low again. I'm oh, poop. Poop, 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 poop. Get it. Get it. Get, get to the... Get to through the... <laughs> yeah. Okay. There you go. I told you I'm gonna I'm gonna die one of these days from just having no energy and I'm just it's just gonna be a slow death while they get stuck inside a doorway and it's just not gonna go well. It really isn't. <laughs> okay, 98%, that should be good enough. Come out here. And back to this build that is really made me sad. Construction components need 55. Really? One of these? 55? Sweet Jesus. That's actually quite a lot for a, an item for a small craft. 55 construction components. Jesus. Let's grind these down. We have to relocate these engines. <sighs> the one thing that just wants to get them in. Let's dump some stuff inside here. There you go. Oop, mine. And let's place one down like that. And like that. So when I grind up, don't tell me I'm out of interior plates. I'm I think I'm completely out of interior plates. I think that, that is that is official. Oh no, I have an extra hundred. Yeah. Woo! Let's do that. See, it's not making any noise. And then it makes a noise. Strange thing, you. Tubes. I need tubes. Most do tubes. Most do tubes. Where are you? Where are you? There you are. Oh, there we go. That was the last bit for that as well. So this whole arm section is connected. It looks blocky and ugly as hell. I know that as well. This, this is what I try and avoid when I'm building. Non avoidable at this moment in time. Let's hope all this conveyoring works as well. It should work. So they're all connected at the right points. Hmm. That's pretty good though. In terms of design, that I think that's, that's fairly good. Um, I guess just to make sure I 
I could always hook them up some way. Some really complicated and awkward way. Yeah, let's do that as well because I'm really unsure. Do do do. As you see, I don't. I I know tubing and stuff, but I don't do it as often as I should with ships. I I kind of. In all fairness, when you're building, you kind of assume that it will work properly. You do test it to some extent by dragging items through the chests and, and double checking, but you kind of go off assumption most of the time because you look at it and go, that should work. So, it's not lazy as sorts. It's, it's just trying to be a bit quicker about your builds because you can, you know, the amount of time I spend on other things in builds like getting the controls to work on multiple stations and things. That's something I really do pride myself on where you go onto a ship and go, oh, of course, all the controls are already on this panel. That's pretty cool. I think I ran out of interior plates again. Yeah, I did. I go another 58. And then we can get some energy in this and see what happens. Fortunately, we don't... Well, we could put a solar panel on. But we need to put a battery on it then, and it just gets more over complicated. Um, reactor. We need four of them. We're also going to need a lot of thrusters, which I haven't actually put on yet. I've only just. Oh, fuck. Ah, so, much, so many things to think of. You don't think of this when you're building just regularly, you just kind of build. Have it though. Just build that reactor all in one. Boom. Can we do this for the other two? Will it will it be that good? Will it be that good? The reason why I'm putting them on the underside is for protection purposes, because I'm gonna try and hope to keep the top face facing the direction of the uh, meteor strikes if need be. So only the top gets hit. Maybe put like a bit of an umbrella system on it. Where it's just like a, a sheet of, of metal, like a sacrificial layer so it can take the hits and uh, sponge it a little bit. But uh, reactors, well we've got reactors, now we need thrusters. So what thrusters do we use? I'm thinking I'll use tumble TVs or, as you guys know him as, um, the azimuth pack. I think I might use his, because these are really cool. I mean, look at these, they, I love the shape of them. Oh, hang on, do these require the after uh, superchargers? They do, so... We'll only put these ones on the front, on the forward f flying thrusters. But I think we can afford like a few. We can probably put three on the back. Uh, there we go. Let's dump all the materials we've got for these on. We're going to need some thruster components as well and superchargers. Because I think the superchargers enable this to go the speeds that it does. Because these are slightly faster than regular thrusters. And a few guys have mentioned the fact that I am using mods and they would prefer not me to not use mods, but again, as I explain, mods are the f what mods are the reason why this game has become so popular in my opinion because well, one the concept gets everyone. It's like what so you can build a, a spaceship and, and fly it around. That's pretty cool. But two, you've also got this massive community where mods are one click options and it just becomes so much better because you can make the game your own in a sense from other people's content and just go I want this on my ship, I want this, I want this, I want this and it just makes everything so much sweeter so we're gonna need to make some superchargers what do we need for superchargers? superchargers, superchargers uh, what do they look like? What do they look like? Large ship, no. No. Azimuth supercharger, we need gold, iron and platinum. So what can we get from items? Gold, iron and platinum. We can get some gold from displays. Um, gold, iron and platinum. Gold, iron, platinum. <laughs> I'm trying to remember the item then. Gold, iron, and platinum. What is plat platinum is in thruster components. So what we want to do is you want to disassemble all 
Let me get some material then. I want to disassemble one of them. One of them. Okay, we've got missing items now. So, as I'm a supercharger. Or do we just use the gold up? Oh god, what have I done? What have I done? Um, Shit. So, we've got some platinum. Where's the gold at? Gold? Uh, let's pick up the platinum from here. It is platinum, isn't it? Yeah. There we go. So now, we should have... Enough? You are kidding. How much platinum do we need? That was only like minuscule amounts. Holy poop balls. So, let's do 30 of them. I don't want to do too many. Oh, we're, we need to assemble now. There we go. We can assemble one, two, three, four, five, six. So we've got six of these now, so we can put them in there. And this is actually the first modded item I've had to create through an assembler because some items now do require extra parts, which is awesome. Have we still need the thruster components for these? We've got the superchargers now. There we go. So, just components. How many? How many do we have actually? Because I just kind of took them out with it. 812. So we've got a good supply of platinum and gold for now. It's all good. Dump that on there. Dump that on there. And then we should have some some thrust. But of course we've got no power in this yet. We haven't put any. Uh, we haven't put any juice in. No juices. No juices are on this ship yet. So did it, what? What? Are, what do the smaller ones require? They also require superchargers. Uh, do I... It's so tempting to use these because they look prettier. And I could put like a row of three. Do that. Do that. The only things I do need then are superchargers again. So if we put three on either side. So I'll need another six. And rotate... The right block, there we go. Oh, and weld all these up. So, again, we got all the items, just need that stuff. Production. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think we can need more than that now, aren't we? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we've got 24 now just because of the other different axes that I potentially might want to place these on because I can only put 21 in there on the inventory. Ah! Annoyance. Annoyances everywhere. Let's dump like 20. And that should enable us to pick up the rest. There we go. So I want to put some more of these thrusters elsewhere so I've got three more sets of six just in case because we can resort back to the old ones but they're not as powerful and I would prefer to have this on here and again just look how beautiful more prettier it looks well, it still doesn't look pretty it looks like a dog's ass but it, it's getting there it is get, it is definitely getting there where is uh, ramps we're gonna, we're gonna put some pretty ramps on there oh look at this Ooh. oh this is looking beastie this, this, this could be something that I could potentially put up on the workshop yeah, if you guys want things to be put on the workshop, be vocal. Tell me. Be like, dude, put that ship on the workshop. I want to play with it. Just, just do it. Just, just tell me. I don't mind. Be great. I got, I got cookies. I don't have cookies. It's, it's really warm in here. Holy! Oh, never experienced this heat. Like my body is not used to this heat. If anyone else lives in the UK, just, 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 just confirm how hot it has been in the past few days because it has been ridiculously hot. I'm sure Neb can probably uh, back me up with that one, Neba Cracker. Who, by the way, if you guys haven't heard, he is one of the guys that helps me out with some of the videos I do, some of the camera recording and things like that. And uh, yeah, I am trying to do that a lot more, trying to incorporate a few more of you guys into the production process of videos. Trouble is at the moment, it's just a lot of communication and 
things like that. I, I may not respond to everything you guys send me, but that is purely down to the fact that I have a lot of things. Like, in terms of my friends list on Steam, probably upset a few people by defriending them. That is purely for business purposes, because... I struggle to find people now, so when I was, you know, when morphologists and me were sort of pairing up and saying, yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll have to, you know, join each other's games and stuff, I couldn't find him, like, his request, because i got, like, 20 of them. So, however, though, you can get in touch with me through any other means, email, all that other stuff, Dream Assembly, uh, dreamerassembly at gmail.co.uk, I think it's dot .com, either way, that one. And uh, you can, you know, get in touch, just say hi, and, you know, all I have other, other gubbins. How many more of these things do I have? I have ten more of these things. So, what I am going to want, oh, I've already done that. I've got up and down on the back now. I've got left and right. I've got forwards, but I haven't got backwards. So I need braking force. So if I grind these away here... What this actually lets me do now is I can place three of these and I already got the superchargers, turbochargers, whatever they're called, superchargers. And I can just weld up all these lovely things and we should have a ship that would m will move in directions known to man. I don't even know. So we need some juice now before I die. If I can get this juice and put it in, jump in the ship, that would be great. How much more fuel do we have? It's not looking good for fuel. It might be might be a saviour this ship because we actually need stuff now. Get in. Uh on. How much stuff do you have in here? He's got ninety six uranium in this. That is pretty freaking ridiculous. I think what I'll do is we'll have I will go 40 in that. And I'm not kidding you, it's just halved and uh, it's it, it's it, it it Why does it do this to me? Why are you doing this to me, ship? I want items out of here and you're you're like going, nope, just appears now. I want ten. That's come through, but just there we go. So we got some uranium now. Let's see if this thing works as we expect it to. So theoretically, if I were to drop my uranium into here, it should split through into the tiny reactors, which it isn't. Do I have to put it in manually first to get them kick-started? Or is it just not flowing through? Okay, you're on now. Does that mean you pass through? No, let's, let's split it up manually. So we're going to dump 2.5 in that one. And we want power, don't we? There we go. We're going to dump another... At least it's working properly now. 2.5 into that one. And then down into this one. 2.5. Confirm. And now we've got to show the works in this brilliant... So what would you guys want to call this ship? What indeed would you like to call it? Because it, it needs a name. And uh, we'll go with a, a nice voting system. Vote up the names you want. So, and comment, and if you like that name that somebody else has suggested, thumbs it up. The one that's got the most thumbs in the video, we'll name it that. And it moves pretty nicely, actually. However, we don't have a gyroscope. Just noticed. <laughs> we could have just flown out into the distance and not been able to turn this thing. I am a moron. Some people may actually enjoy me saying that about myself. Uh, let's place the gyro. Weldy weld. I've got all the items I need as well, which is good. And that should move now, but what I also want on the back of this is a connector. Because how are we going to transfer the goods to everywhere else? And we're going to need some more tubes, because we only have half of what we need, so we need three more. 
Let me come through. Three more tube, 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 tubes. Seven more of those. Drop all. Let's go. We'll just ditch all this other stuff now, and we'll go out on a bit of a on a run. We haven't got the systems in place for controlling it via an antenna yet, but we're getting there. We've got a ship that can fly. That's good enough for me so far. Let's take these tubes because we're going to need tubes for this. That, that's 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 better that's better than what we expected, right? I mean, this ship it seems to be pretty damn legit right now. So let's let's give it a try and uh, see what happens. Let's go weapons and tools, and we should have this. What's the power consumption go up to when you do that? Wow! So having those extra reactors, but sort of dividing out the stuff a bit more, like the uranium, has actually proved really useful. So what you can do, you're gonna press up against it. Might need a light on this. Here we go. We get a little bit of jitter. But that actually I like the jitter. It's quite it's quite a cool effect how you wobble around. And these are damn quick at doing their job. Look at this, we're going, we are going. Oh my god, this ship is actually really, really good for, for a first build. That's actually pretty damn decent. So what do you guys think of this? you guys think this ship is pretty damn cool? I personally think it's pretty damn cool. We won't be attacking any escorts yet because of course we don't have guns. But I think this is pretty good so far. I think it's uh, worked out pretty damn nice. Oh god. Okay, we're out of here. Uh, <laughs> so I had to get out there as quick as possible because of the meter storm. But I think that is where I'm going to call it for today, guys. We've managed to get a ship that works and it's it seems pretty damn decent for controlling. And uh, again, if you have got a name for it, post the comment with the name. And then if you guys do like the name, thumbs it up. And uh, yeah, I will see which one I like more. But that is pretty cool. And if we go into the back end of this now, it should show us what we just collected. Which is a hell of a lot of material. These are staying in the grinders, however. Oh god. Uh, actually, no, they're moving medium cargo container uh... 900... oh my god yeah they're, they're moving quite nicely um, what we want to do though is we want to move them into... sorry I'm just about to finish up on this video and I've, I've just come across another thing to do so those have ended up in the medium cargo container somehow oh god is that why only because it's small items, isn't it? Hang on, it's turned off as well. That might be a thing that doesn't help. I've turned off the bloody thing. Can you move? I can't even move you through here as well. That's weird. Look, it won't even... What? What is it? I can't get you out of there. How the hell am I gonna? How do I get my materials out? Uh, the other materials seem to have gone through nicely. Uh, what if I kickstart it by throwing other stuff in? This sometimes works. So if I do that, pass it through the connector. And then pass it into here. Will they go through as well? Fuck no. Oh, we're gonna have to figure this out off camera, guys. I think it's down to these not working. They need to be out and connected via an actual connector, or oh, well, not connector, a conveyor. But uh, yeah, so. If you guys have enjoyed, 
then I have been Gimpy Dwarf, and uh, thank you guys for watching again this survival. Hope you guys are enjoying the long episode still, and I hope you guys are enjoying the comments and the content that I'm providing. Thank you guys for watching ever so much, it really does make the difference, and we are pushing 10k now, which is amazing. And uh, yeah, so if you guys have enjoyed, please like, favorite, and of course subscribe for more, and go check out everybody else who we are part of on the DSN, and watch out for me on some streams, and I'll see you guys later. Peace!